So a common question I get on videos is, how do I make the video game work? So I'm here to show you how to make the video game work. So the most common problem is locale settings. So let's see what happens when we try to open Yume Tuki. We get a pop-up with a bunch of gibberish. Now to my understanding, the reason this happens is because the game is Japanese and it's trying to access letters that you don't have in your system. You only got English letters, it's looking for the Japanese letters. It can't find them, so the game crashes. So you got two methods of fixing this. Here's the more annoying way. Go Control Panel, Region. Select Administrator from the top, go change system locale. Find Japanese, click that, okay, apply. You're gonna have to reset your computer to do this. Now this will change your computer's alphabet to the Japanese one, so when you try to run Yume Tuki, boom, it can find the characters, it works. Again, that's to my understanding how it works. What's annoying about this is since your system's using a Japanese alphabet, things can get messed up sometimes, maybe Skype will be in Japanese, it's just, it just causes annoying things. So a better alternative. You're gonna want to get app locales, so go to the description of this video, click the link here, and go to this website. You're gonna click download, so you install app locale, boom, open it up, you click next, you click browse. And you're gonna want to browse to the game you want to run, aka Yume Tuki or whatever RPG Maker game. Go next, then you're gonna select the language. For me, it's the very bottom one, should be the same for you. Click that, click next. Finish, boom, you got the game running. Now the other problem is sometimes it's gonna be like, you need RTP to play the game, so click the second link in the description to download this thing. When it asks for your name and email, you can literally just type in complete gibberish and then complete gibberish at complete gibberish.com. You only need to download the specific kind of RTP that matches the kind of RPG Maker your game is made in. But if you play a lot of RPG Maker games like myself, you may as well just download and install all of them. This way, you're prepared, you turkey! So after doing those two things, the game should work. Keep in mind, I'm using Windows 8.1, so if you have Windows 8 or 8.1, Doing this should work, uh, should work on 7, if you got Windows 10, I, I can't help you, I have no idea, I hear a lot of people have problems on running RPG Maker games on Windows 10, no idea, I can't help you there. Hopefully this makes most of your games work, I don't, I don't know man.